In this video we'll look at the user control of your site, otherwise known as your site membership. Go to admin and either click on the user icon or select user from the navigation bar at the top. From this screen we can look at the current membership list of your site. Now, this site only has a few users but many of your sites uh, your list will run to a number of pages. At the top of each column you can click on the column title to resort the list which is especially useful for large membership lists. The information displayed is controlled by the edit control at the bottom of the list. Clicking on edit display options will bring up a selection box where you can select or deselect what information is displayed on the main list. Once you've made your choices click on search refresh to see your changes. On the right of each user is a drop down box where you can choose to view the user's IP address, edit the user's information including password. You can ban, make an admin and select what class they belong to or delete them. In the user menu we have the options to quick add a user. This is very useful if you have somebody who is struggling to register. It is also worth you having another login so that you can log in as an ordinary member rather than viewing the site as an admin. Here we add Frank. We don't even need a, a valid email address although if Frank is a real person it will pay to use a real one if you ever need to get hold of him. You need a record of his email address. The two classes at the bottom we'll deal with in the class control video. Once saved, Frank will now appear at the top of your user list and will have all the usual options available to you. The next option is Prune Users, which is useful if you want to clear some of the deadwood out, non-active users or even suspicious applicants. Options allows you to change whether members can upload their own avatar photograph or control the size of the avatar. It also allows a rating system, comments and force members to update their information, enable tracking and lastly to control what class is allowed to see the information. Any changes you make should be confirmed by clicking on the update options button and a confirmation should appear if it's saved successfully. At the bottom of the menu, the user options menu, is a list, if you have it, of any members waiting for your authorization. You can click the drop down box and select activate, or if you feel the application is bogus, you have the option to delete or even ban them. And here we've verified Peter. Okay, that's just a, a very quick overview of the way the user function works and we'll deal with some of the other items in a little bit more detail.